everyone. Welcome back. It, has, it feels like forever since I sat here. I know it's, it was December that I last made a sit in front of the camera kind of video. Um, I've been taking the month off to try and regroup and finish up the, the last things I need to do on the cups like photographs and slideshows and packing, packing, packing 150 cups. But um, I have some updated news and then I'll let you know what I'm going to be doing for 2012. I'm a firm believer that it doesn't have to be January 1st to set a goal. I mean, I can set a goal today and it can be just as strong and forthcoming as if I did it on January 1st. My goal for January was just to just to breathe and to regroup. Um, that project was a pretty big project considering it's just a hobby. I'm not, I don't throw, I, I, I don't really have time to sit and be a, um, a commercial potter. I wish I could do it more often, but I really, I can't believe how much time I found. It was a real blessing of a project. It really was. But this year, I know I'm going to have even less time because come March, I will be in um, the tra a trailer. Yes, I'll be living in the trailer because they are actually going to get my house, most of my house, more than half of my house. So I will be in the trailer, so I have to plan my 2012 so I can meet the goal I set for myself. And this year, well, I'm just going to tell you now. I can't wait. February, I am going, starting February, I'm going to do a project a month for my magazines. And I am a subscriber, Pottery Making Illustrated, Ceramics Monthly, and I have this stack of magazines that I flip through. And I have never really grabbed one and said, I'm going to try that. You guys are probably different, but I just haven't done anything out of there. So I thought, how fun would it be if I actually took the time to pick a project from beginning to end, I'll tell you what page it's on, I'll tell you who wrote it, I'll, sh I'll show you some of the work that they do, and I'm going to try and do it myself. Does that sound fun? I don't know. It does to me. If I, I YouTube, there's a gajillion projects, and it just felt overwhelming to try every one. I've seen Steve Booten's bottles, and I saw Janice do them, and oh, I'm going to do that someday. And it keeps having to do that someday. It's like, no, i gotta, I got to keep it small for, for now. For this year, at least until the remodel's over, I really can't do way, I can't overload myself and feel the pressure of my hobby. So what I'm, I, I've decided that one project a month, uh, maybe I'll get it all the way from beginning to end. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes on that. But I'm just real excited to try and learn something new. Other thing that, an, an update is the cup, the cups, the cups. The cups are going to be in the Chartreuse Muse Art Gallery. Modesto, California, starting March 1st, and I talked to Sandra, who uh, is the co-owner there, and really great gal, really like Sandra, and she's got such an eye for display, and I went in and talked to her, and she showed me what she was hoping to do with it, and I just got all excited, thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to get to see all the cups all at one time. You know, you can look at them on a web page, and that's great, and you can see them in a video, and that's great, but to actually see my whole year displayed on uh, displayed is going to be is going to be something well i know she said that there's going to be an artist's reception and i have to find out what that is what date that is i think it's the third thursday of march i'm thinking but i have to wait till she tells me uh, they're going to be there from march and april um, she, I think she wanted them until May, but I might have to take them out before May. Uh, I'd like to, some people have bought cups already, and some people have claimed cups that they'd like to buy, and it's just, I'm, I'm honored by that, that somebody would think that they'd want to buy one. I didn't consider that. I don't know. But at the beginning of the year, I wasn't thinking, what am I going to do with these babies when I'm done with them? Um, it's just all it's all kind of falling into place and if you would like a cup uh, you can go to my website hobbypotter.com I've put all the cups before and after pictures up there's a few I don't have up yet because I just found them out here I was freaking out I didn't know I was missing five cups and I'm thinking I've packed boxes and boxes I don't how am I gonna go through and see what cups are missing well they were all just, they were all right here for the last video oh, I came out here today and I thought yay anyway back on track um, they're all on the website, and if somebody's claimed them and said, yes, I'd like to buy them, there is a yellow circle that says, yes, that's on hold for someone. Uh, that means they haven't paid for it yet, and um, 
the ones that are in red are already a done deal. They're already claimed and gone to, to someone. But they'll be in the display at the gallery. I won't be able to ship anything out until after they're out of the gallery, which is sometime after May 1st. So um, if that's all understood and you'd like to buy one, let me know. The, the pricing will be between $20 and $30 a cup. And uh, the reason being is I talked to Sandra, and she she recommended and suggested that the the cups not be that different because I'm going to sell them before they go in the gallery. You let me know. You can pay for them. I'll let you know how that goes because I'm figuring it out right now in my head as I'm saying it. <laughs> um, if, if you want to pay for those in advance, that would be great. If you just want to put them on hold, that's fine. But as soon as they go into the gallery, I'm not going to be able to sell anymore until they come out of the gallery because the gallery is actually going to be selling them as well. I just have to let her know um, two weeks before what cups are not for sale. So I want to make sure if you have a cup and bought a cup that it is marked, this this is not for sale, this belongs to someone else, it's sold, whatnot. But I have to do it before they get there. So two weeks before, uh, that would be like February, I should set a date right while I'm talking to you. Um, how about by February 20th? If you would like a cup, just email me, inbox me, let me know, and we'll, we can we can chat, talk, talk logistics and whatnot. But other than that, please come see me at the artist reception. I have this nightmare that I'll be the only one standing there and the only one there are my family and my parents. <laughs> so if you want to come visit, I would so love to meet you. I'd love to meet everyone that I've talked to on Facebook. So if you live in San Jose, you're close enough. you got to come. If you live in San Francisco, you're close enough. If you live east of that, what's east of Modesto? Sierra Nevadas, yeah, you're close enough. Fresno, you're close enough. Okay, come see me, please. Um, yes, I would love that so much. And if you'd like a cup, just let me know. I hope I don't have any left over. I'm not knick-knacky, like I say. And um, I really would love it if I knew somebody was using them. And uh, some of the prices, oh, will be adjusted if there's damage to them. And I'll, I can let you know that, too. But anyway, that's what's coming up. New project starting February, and I will have probably one more video about the cups, and that'll be the opening. Um, I just want you to come see them in person sometime between March and April. And uh, yeah, I'd love to meet you too. Artist reception. I'll let you know what day that is. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for letting me chit chat to you. I'm sorry, no pottery stuff going on right at this second, but there will be soon. So come back and say hi to me. Thanks.